RSF se mobilise pour... Reporters Without Borders is now mobilised for the liberation of these two colleagues. We're simply waiting to know a little bit more about their situation. They were arrested less than 24 hours ago. They've surely been questioned. When we know a bit more, we will make a decision and we'll certainly do so with our colleagues at Le Monde newspaper. The situation for the press in Burundi is extremely worrying and it is one of the countries that Reporters Without Borders is monitoring very closely. Since the 2015 putsch, most of the independent radio stations have closed. There are a few left, three as far as I know, and they can only broadcast through their websites. Newspapers have closed one after another. Journalists, for the most part, either have to hide, live covertly, or go into exile.